Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to continue our uh, delete functionality. So, uh, so far, what we have is uh, when you click on edit, you can actually make multiple selections. And uh, when you click done, uh, basically, you know, multiple selection goes away and it erases all those selected so you can start from fresh. Um, now, uh, there are a couple of things that we're going to do in this video. We're going to add a bottom nav bar. Um, we're also going to add a button uh, that's going to be handling the delete uh, functionality and we're going to disable this uh, plus button because we don't want a user to be adding stuff when we are in the edit mode so let's go ahead and, and get uh, this fixed because this is an easy fix so if i go in storyboard and uh, let me let me go here and uh, create a new outlet so IB UI bar button item. Okay. Um, while we are at it, let's create like another um, another one. Uh, basically, uh, this one is uh, going to be for IB outlet. Require uh, for delete, so delete button UI bar button item once again, and uh, we don't have it, so we can add that. And we're gonna add an IB outlet for the container for the nav bar that's holding it because we don't want to show that nav bar all the time, only when we are in edit mode. So bottom. So that's good. That's all the outlets we need. Um, so we can go here. First of all, let's select the uh, view controller, uh, the main view controller, and uh, go in the uh, connection inspector. And uh, for the add button, let's add it right here. All right. So that's good. Uh, now let's open object library. Look for navigation bar and we're going to drop this navigation bar at the bottom like so okay and uh, we don't need any title so you can remove that and uh, we're going to go back to our library and we're going to add one item here and uh, sorry not item so we can undo that um, we need bar button item yeah there you go that's better so we need power button item and uh, we're gonna change so we're gonna go to an attribute inspector gonna change its item type to trash so it can show this uh, trash icon all right uh, now all we can do is uh, we can go to our um, connection inspector I tend to forget the names. Um, yeah, connection inspector. Um, and uh, take the bottom nav and connect that bottom nav uh, to the navigation bar. And uh, basically, the delete button to this uh, delete button bar button item. All right, so that's all the uh, outlets uh, that we needed to connect. So we can go ahead and run this real quick and see if we can see the bottom nav or not there we go we see it okay so we can constrain this too so let's go ahead and constrain it zero point from all sides that way it's always um, yeah it's always there uh, I mean it's it's uh, whenever it's visible it's there okay and uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set its hidden property to be true because we don't want to show that right away as soon as a uh, user starts off. What we're going to do is as soon as user clicks on edit, we're going to disable this button and show the bottom nav. Okay, so let's go ahead and tackle that. Um, so I'm going to go back in the view controller and in the view controller, um, 
the best place actually to uh, do all this hiding and showing is basically our um, setting our set editing sorry not setting set editing so if you can say add power button dot is enabled is equal to if it's not editing so opposite of editing so if it's editing uh, then we want to disable it if it's not editing then we want to enable it uh, bottom nav dot is hidden is equal to not editing once again so let's go ahead and check it out so what should happen is basically as soon as we click on the edit uh, this should be disabled and this should be uh, visible and if we click done uh, this should be enabled and the bottom nav should be disabled okay so with that now we are ready for finally <laughs> for delete functionality so let's go ahead and uh, and create a delete uh, function so i'm going to create it right here at ib action func delete selected items okay so we, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say if let selected so if we have anything selected uh so selected items maybe selected dot index path for selected items so if there are any uh, selected items then we want to say let items is equal to selected items dot map and uh, we can actually uh, we're gonna map these basically transform this and reverse it so uh, so uh, that way what we are doing is let's say like uh, when we are because we are deleting from the same um, same collection if we sort and remove uh, these uh, uh, the, the items uh, that we are actually uh, trying to remove um, our indexes is not going to be affected so let's say if you have one two and three and uh, four for example that you need to delete uh, let's say no not I mean these are all the items you have but let's say you need to delete three and four or two and three is better example so let's say if you need to do like you know two and three uh, then in that case if you sort uh, them which is going to be it's already sorted so it's going to be two and three and then reverse it basically you first delete three so when you delete three this item moves here your index path for two is not updated but uh, otherwise if you just uh, like you know without sorting and reversing if you do it so two is going to get deleted and then at the second index is three actually but what you're looking for is two so then uh this is actually gonna get confused so your data source is getting getting messed up so for that reason in order to avoid for any time when you're deleting uh from the uh, uh from the data source uh you want to make sure that you delete from the back uh not from the front so we're gonna take uh the index path and uh, the item property of the index path we're gonna sort it and reversed like so so um yeah this needs to be curly and uh, that should actually do it yeah okay so now what we can do is we can iterate over items and we can say data dot remove item okay so we are removing from the back all right once we are done removing all the items so first we update the data source once we are actually uh, are done deleting items that we need to delete from that data source we simply gonna say uh, remove or delete items uh, from the selected items um, and this is basically gonna take care uh, the least deletion of the cells okay so let's see are we missing any brackets 
What data is missing? Okay, so we are definitely missing something. Uh, let's take a look. So I've got this. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, the one that actually uh, closes uh, the class uh, that was missing. So let's go ahead and connect this. Um, so I'm going to go select the view controller, go to connection inspector, uh, select that delete selected items a function, and uh, go ahead and run this. Now, uh, when we run this, uh, you're going to notice that we have um, a fully featured delete functionality. So let's go ahead and delete the first row. And there we go. Uh, so you have first row deleted, and uh, you can do random. There we go. And you can click done. All right? So basically, your data source is now updated with all the values uh, that are not there. And you can simply remove, like, you know, anything that you're trying to select. So let's say delete. And the animation that it actually comes for deletion, it all is automatically built in with your uh, collection view. So it handles that animation part for you and there we go we have like most of our cells are deleted so that's how the delete functionality actually works uh so yeah so uh, this is it for uh, uh this video and uh, uh next we're gonna actually add a uh, reordering feature uh within this uh, collection view uh, okay so uh, uh this is it for this video and thanks again for watching